Mars! There's water on Mars! Ah! Anthony here for D-News and ah, water on Mars! <clears throat> okay, sorry. So, haven't we found water on Mars before? Well, kind of. It's always been like, hey, this looks like ice and we think it just melted. Or, here's some clay, which means water existed here at some point. No, this is different. Curiosity just found that Martian soil is 2% water. So a sample of sand was taken from Rock Nest, which is this area in the Gale Crater. Curiosity analyzed it using an instrument called SAM, a kind of test chamber inside the rover that has a gas chromatograph, a mass spectrometer, and a laser spectrometer. Puts the sand into SAM, heats it to 835 degrees Celsius, and out comes water, along with some carbon dioxide. Liquid water means life. Life in a way that we recognize potentially existed on Mars sometime in the past. Maybe not as complex as all the stuff that we have on Earth, but microscopic life like bacteria and other tiny organisms. Yes, there is reason to believe life once existed on Mars. It also means that we potentially have a source of water to drink when we get there, because you know we are going there. So. The downside. Remember a few months back when there were reports that Mars is covered in poisonous dust? The orange dust is called regolith and it's full of nasty stuff like perchlorates, which are used here on Earth as rocket fuel and can mess up your thyroid gland if you're exposed to them. It also has silicates, which can mix with the water in your lungs and turn into chemicals that cause respiratory diseases. So separating the Mars water from all that stuff in the soil is not going to be an easy task, but it could be done. And it could mean a supply of safe drinking water for future Mars colonists, or if you believe Doctor Who, it will contain the sentient virus that will cause their demise. It's a mixed bag, really. Water on Mars, you guys! This is exciting! If you want to know more about the findings, intrepid space doctor reporter Ian O'Neill has the full story on the Discovery News site, and the brave men and women of Discovery Lists has a breakdown of all the important clues about Mars water we have found over the last few years. So go check those out and subscribe here for more D-News.